Hey guys, it's your boy Carnage here today with another video of zombies. Well, not another video, I can't really say it's my first video. But we're going to do a solo game of zombies, map 1 to 14. Uh, the first one is Natch the uh, Untoten. Then we're going to do Verup, China Numa, and then the Giant. Um, so yeah, let's let's just get into this. Love this intro. This intro is like one of the best intros for the first zombie map. I mean, come on. If you were uh, an old player like me and you had Cold World War, World War, I tell you what, the, f the first time you played this was just like, what the hell? This is creepy. I mean, you know, going back to the old days. I mean, come on, brilliant, absolutely brilliant. So uh, yeah, let's get into this game. So. Start off, first round, always the, the slowest. Always go to the bubblegum machine, because I like to get plain, uh, hide in plain sight, uh, which is a special gobblegum that you uh, activate, and basically all the zombies just basically go off of you, and if you're in a game with other four players, or three players, they bas the zombies basically go after them. Um, but this map is absolutely amazing, absolutely amazing. So basically, the way I see it, yeah, the rounds are really slow at the minute. I mean, like, boringly slow. But, I mean, people try and save their points. But if you're playing on solo, you get enough points to open a couple of doors and buy some weapons. Um, this RK5 isn't too bad, but it's not one of my main weapons. I don't really like going to the box, because, you know, you've got to try and find max ammos all the time. And it's just... It's just one big pain in my ass. So that's why I buy we uh, weapons off the wall. You know, you've got as much ammo as you want. You don't have to go back down to the box. I mean, yeah, it's nice. I mean, you can get the monkey bombs. It does help. Um, but yeah, so we're just going to go for these waves. You know, try I'll try, try my quickest. Because these, these are really slow. These zombies are really slow. But um, yeah, I mean, look at this wall. This wall is really weird. You would have thought they would have done a little bit better, but... So... See, now I can hear... I can hear one of them. Right, there we go. I found him. Got him. Straight off the... Well, I'm not, I can't say straight off the bat either. <laughs> oh, man. But, um... Yeah, it's like I said. It's like points-wise. Build the windows up. Get as much as points as you can, because then you can open straight up to the doors. Um, <clears throat> help, here we go. Now this radio, this radio does play music from the uh, other maps. And it is a it is a little bit of an easter egg. I wouldn't say it's too much of an easter egg, because, you know, a lot of people know this thing's here. But, um, yeah, this thing isn't turning on. Hang on, yeah, let's just try this. Let's try this one more time. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, there we go. So we've got some music playing for you now. But, um, it does... It, when you move away, it does, um... does turn... It, it, like, it turns down a little bit. And like I said, having the windows undone just lets them in easier. You get more points, more... You know, it's just more points, really. Uh, yeah. Grenade out. Grenade out! So the grenades aren't too bad, but like like I said again, if you chuck a grenade and it rolls back and downs you, then yeah, that's basically your fault. <laughs> that's why I don't really use my grenades, but um, you'll see in some of my clips, I literally just throw my grenades away. I just don't see the point in using them. This music though is, it is pretty good, but uh, I don't want to stand around the box and get killed or downed, but this map is absolutely beautiful. They've done really well remastering this map. But, um, yeah, I mean, sorry, sorry, the graphics are a little bit, you know, you know, the first YouTube video, proper YouTube video is going to be a little bit, I mean, it's a work in progress. But, um, like I said, I don't really go to the box that much often because ammo-wise, trying to find ammo and it's the max ammo, you don't really get a lot. You get more nukes nowadays than you do ammo. Yeah, 
there we go, there's the music. Yeah. Ellen the Sigmund, man. She's got a voice, I have to admit. But if you go back to World at War, that actually is the same box there. Except from it doesn't play the same the same music, which is pretty pretty cool. So it's got a two in one. <coughs> but like I said, there you go, you'll see me chuck my grenades away because yeah, I don't use my grenades. But, um, these waves are just so slow and it I mean don't get me wrong, I, I like it, but there we go, look, see carpenter that I don't really need. You know, no max ammo has dropped just yet. And now this is the part of just trying to find one. Well, one zombie left. It's normally the case of just trying to find one zombie left, and it does annoy me. I mean, these guys are really slow. Wave three, and it's just like this is what takes the time. These get like these game clips. Come on, give me something good. Ah, oh, great, a freaking bazooka, really. I mean, yeah, okay, not bad, because, I mean, a lot of people, a lot, a lot of you guys think this is pretty shit, and, yeah, you wouldn't pick it up, but, I mean, if, technically, it's ammo, and it's more than I had in the handgun, so, I would, I would rather just use this for now. I mean, I've got another weapon that I need ammo for, so, it's not too bad. I love that music echoing, it's just, it's amazing. details the details of this map it's like you can even hear the rubble moving underneath me here <laughs> uh, this is this is yeah the map's decent I mean I haven't played zombie for a while I mean this is this is sort of my like first game back so yeah luck luck's not really good at me <laughs> good for me at the minute because you know I got this bloody yeah uh, bazooka but I shall find something else. In the meantime, we'll just use the ammo up for this, so I haven't wasted the 950 points. But, like I said, it is usable, I and mean, obviously, here we go, yeah, nice. Ooh. But basically, it's usable, uh, you know, you just gotta get it right. And I hate it when that happens, when you're focused on something else and a zombie just pops out of nowhere. What happens to me quite a lot on zombies, and that's why I get down. But I, like I said, I've actually got a lot better at playing zombies. Uh, I normally play COD, World, World at War, World War Two. Sorry, um, I haven't played zombies for a long time though on Black Ops Three. So, but damn, this <laughs> this rocket launch is missing a lot. It just ah, oh, there we go, there we go. Nice long shot, and oh crap, 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 crap. There we go. Pwned, get pwned. Reload. There we go. So I, like I said, I do hit the box, but it's trying to find the ammo for it. I mean, some of the weapons are pretty cool ammo because, you know, I mean, near enough 700. 700? What am I on about? <laughs> near enough. Near enough 400 ammo with this, so that's not too bad. I mean, you know, some of the machine guns and that are good, and some of them are just complete trash. But yeah, look at the scenery. This is just amazing. There we go. See, I, like I said, I need the purple, purple gold. Oh, yeah, yes, look at that. There we go. That's what I needed. In plain sight. Then. I mean, this gun's not too bad. You get a couple of headshots. I mean, you'll have to excuse me. I prestiged, and basically, you'll see that I've got a couple of weapon attachments, but not on all because I prestiged, and yeah. But this map is just absolutely amazing. Just if you, I mean, if you if you play World at, World at War, and then play Black Ops Three, and look at these maps. Yes, look at that. See, like I said, you don't get a lot of uh, max ammos, but like I said. If you've played World at War and you've come this far to Black Ops 3 and some of the new zombies, oh my god. It's just it's just so different. Like they have really outdone themselves. 
I mean, some people out there, you know, I mean, look at this lovely wall. Look, look at the texture of the wall. I'm just, I'm just kidding. But um, some of the pre some of the people out there are really unappreciative of these maps. I mean, yeah, okay, it's the, the the maps from the old games, but so what? It's amazing. You, it's like a blast from the past, basically. But um, yeah. So just just trying to keep keep clean, keep clear. Find some of these zombies because they take they take so long to get to the map. That's the only problem with this because it's. I mean, yes, okay, the map's small, but they take so long to get to the windows. It's just yeah. That was a bit of a dud grenade, sorry about that. But yeah, like I said, they take... I mean, look how far this guy is, like, like right behind the tree, like, really. Spawn him in a bit closer, come on. But then again, I'm guessing it's because that's what they tried, you know. They, they, they've tried to make it feel like it's a proper survival game. But, um... <laughs> there's another thing, it's like... On World at War, I don't know if any of you can remember the wall glitch on here. Everyone used to do that until they patched it. Like that was one of my favourite glitches. Like I'm not, I'm not too big on glitches. I would rather just run around, rape train, uh, and things like that. But um, yeah, just just kick ass. Honestly, this gun, it like I said, the ammo wise is good, but. I'd prefer to buy the gun off the wall, to be honest. So I probably will end up changing it eventually. But yeah, so come on, there we go. More zombies, please. Come on. Oh, lovely scream! I can hear you screaming. There he is. No running in the hallway, please. There we go. This is what I mean. I prefer buying guns off the wall. As soon as I run out, I can easily just go, ah, yeah, and the sniper. It's a one-shot kill, basically. And this this will last you until... Well, until you need... And that shotgun is fairly decent. I, I do like the, uh, the shotguns on here. I do have to admit. See, I normally buy a shotgun straight off the bat, to be honest. But um, I've got the Man of War and the AK, so it's not too bad. Points, yeah. Come on, more zombies, please. We're on wave six. Let's have that last zombie. Look at this guy, like, he's all mangled. Seriously, lights flicker, flicker in. Can someone please fix the light? I mean, come on. <laughs> really? Oh, there we go again. I like how that none of those shots hit him. Then that's just like waste of ammo. <laughs> Build this window back up. I mean, that's another thing. If you can keep that window built up just enough, just so it gives you enough time to reload and take them out from the window, you, you, basically you're only defending one door, which is which is well, well, which is really fairly simple. So, I mean, like I said, I, I I'm not amazing on the first map. Um, this is basically I've I've only just started playing this Black Ops Three again, just for the for the sake of the zombies really. Um But uh most of the time I'm playing on World 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 War Two online and other games like Ghost Recon Wildlands. But this game I had to download it again, I had to see the old maps to go back and just revisit what was back when it first originally came out the first zombies and like I said I'm gonna be doing the rest of the maps one to fourteen on Black Ops three. I know there's other, you know, there's Black Ops and Black Ops 2, but these are the first zombie maps, which I will be doing. I will be doing Black Ops 3 maps, but whether I can find my Black Ops 2 or my Black Ops, then I probably won't be doing the maps, but I will be doing the ones on Black Ops 3.
Do do do. Come on. So that's what I mean. You can hear them, but they just don't spawn in. Spawn in. Lovely bit of rubble. Look at that. <laughs> you must descend from the darkness. I mean, it's like quick scoping. If you're not very good at quick scoping, you can, you can quick scope on this. So this is why I want to buy it. Save up and buy the sniper because, you know, like I said, it's one shot kill. You can get loads in a row. If you, I mean, that doorway is literally like just a bullet bullet way. I mean, that's probably the best. This is probably the best place to sit. If you, if I mean, if you don't like moving around on zombies, that's probably the best place to sit in there. Like I said, um, so. Like I said, saving up for the points. I've got plenty of ammo. I'm going to use this ammo. I'm going to take out some more zombies. And then I'm going to go and get myself a sniper. Knife, 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 knife. <laughs> the guy didn't even get a chance to turn around the corner. Here we go. Here we go. Like I said, quick scope, and if you ever want to learn how to quick scope, just use just come on zombies. I mean, I know it's not like the best because obviously it's a zombie and it's not firing back. But if you're just learning and just trying to figure out, you know, how the best way is or how comfortable you are with the controls or anything like that, this is probably the best thing to do. It's just to come on zombies and just to quick scope a couple, and you know, and then go online and then just just see how you are. You know, it's not, it's not a big deal. Freaking zombie! There's just one zombie left. This is this is what annoys me. It's so slow. So you can hear him, you just can't see him. This is what annoys me. But just looking for the scope so you guys can see some of the old map, see what they've done. I mean, I would love, love for someone to help me mod this map so that I could get out and actually have a proper look at this map. Because, like I said, I am a big old. World, 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 well, world war fan. I love it. And just looking at the added extra detail because obviously it's Black Ops Three, not World at War. There's more detail in this, and it's just, it's just absolutely amazing. This guy on the banister, look, this is like you. Yeah. Uh. But um, if anyone knows of any more Easter eggs on this map, let me know. Because I would love to find out some more Easter eggs. I know there is. There's small Easter eggs on here and all that. So I would love to find out if anyone knows any more. Like I said, quick scoping on this game <clears throat> on zombies. See, I mi I do miss a couple of shots. I'm not saying I'm the best. I mean, it's Black Ops Three. You know, I haven't played this for ages, so I've mostly been on AVP as well. Because now that's backwards compatible, which was my which was my jam. That was my favourite game, and I probably will be doing some YouTube videos about that as well, so. But for now, I want to get my Black Ops 3 zombies 1 to 14, like I keep saying. But uh, yeah, it's just quick scope zombies. If you're ever trying to learn how to quick scope, just, it's just probably the best way to do it. And like I said, like I'm doing now, I'm missing shots. It's, you know, it's terrible, but some of the kills on here are pretty good. Come on, there's one more left. Come on. I mean, with my zombies as well, um, I do know some of the Easter eggs and some of the, you know, build the uh, building the weapons and things like that. But I won't be doing that either because, well, some of my zombies. Sometimes I just I can't be asked to do it. I'd prefer just to stay alive and yeah, just go through rounds. So most of my videos will literally just be that. So, um, but if anyone wants me to, I can. Uh, before I upload the videos, preferably, um, I do know a lot about Garod Karovi and the new one that they've released. But um, yeah, so just just stay tuned, keep watching, and follow me along. 
the zombie road and enjoy the rest of the video. That's all I can say. Peace. Just enjoy the rest of this clip.
Yeah.